So once you've customized your design using Generator, you can export it to HTML and CSS. And then from there, you can do even further customization using the Startup Framework source code. In this tutorial, we'll go over removing blocks and adding new blocks from the Startup Framework source code. So this is the previous design that we've came up with. And there's a lot of cool animation happening in this one. However, I think there may be some more components that I want to add to it. And rather than just going back to the generator, we can go into the Startup Framework source code and we can add and remove blocks manually. And this is helpful if you've done some custom work on your page already. So in my editor, I have the HTML pulled up and I think I want to change my header. Right now I'm using header 13 and I think I'd rather be using header 6. So to set that up, I can go into the Startup Framework source code, which I have pulled up in another editor. So in this editor, I have opened a copy of the Startup Framework. And underneath the Developer folder, I can go into the UIKit folder. And then I can open up the UIKit header folder, and I can click on the index.html page. And inside of here, I can find the header 6 that I'm looking for. So right here, I've found header 6. So I'm just going to copy that. And now I'm going to paste it into my generator project. So I'll remove header 13, and then I'll paste it in. And now I have header 6 in. However, in the browser, we can see that something's up. And that's because we haven't brought over the less styles as well. And the reason why the header 6 less file isn't in the generated copy is because the generator will only download assets from the blocks that you chose. And since we didn't choose header 6 initially, we didn't get the less styles for header 6. So we can head into the source code for Startup Framework, and we can add it from there. And another option you could do rather than just adding files manually over would be to include a copy of the Startup Framework in your generated version. However, I only like to pull over what I need, so I'm just going to pull over my styles on an as-needed basis. In the generated copy, underneath UIKit and underneath UIKit header, within the less folder, I added header 6.less. And now we need to go into the static folder and open up style.less. And then rather than header 13, we need to add in header 6. So now we have the styles added in, but we also need to add in the images as well. So if we go into common files and we see images, we can open up header and we can see we only have two images within header. So we can go into the copy of our startup source code and we could transfer the files for the headers over into our generated copy. So in the image folder underneath common files, I've added all the images from startup to the image folder. So this way we won't have to deal with any missing images. I added all the images for the sake of this tutorial, but you probably just want to add the images that you're going to need. Because when it becomes time to host this site, you're not going to want to store any images that you actually aren't using. So now you can see that we have a different header block than we had before. And it was just as easy as deleting the old block and swapping it out with a new block from the Startup Framework source code. So let's go through and actually change a couple of the other blocks as well. So in our Startup Framework source code, we'll go within the UI content folder and open up the index.html file. And we're going to look for a couple content sections. We're going to look for 17, 12, and 30. We'll copy 17 over and paste it into our generator project. And we'll delete content 7 and add in content 17 in its place. And we'll change the image source to startup slash common files. And now we'll find content 12. And we'll paste content 12 underneath content 17. And now we'll open up index2.html underneath the UI kit header folder. And we'll add content 30. So we'll copy 30 and put it into our generator project. And underneath content 12, we'll paste in content 30. And within content 30, We'll highlight all these dot dot slashes and we'll change them to startup slash common files. And now that we have all the HTML in, let's grab the less. So underneath the UI content folder, we can open up the less folder. And then from here, we can grab the content less files that we need. And in this case, we need 17, 12, and 30. So I'm just going to copy those over into the generated folder. So in our generator project, I now have the content 12, 17, and 30 less files. So let's add that to our styles.less file. So instead of content 7, I can do content 17. And then below, I can add the other content sections as well. So now as we scroll down, we can see we have our new blocks added into the page. We also can see that we have some animation that occurs when we hover over these images right here. And this same animation from the blocks as before. And let's see how this would look on a mobile device. So we still have our push out menu. And then we can scroll down and we can see that the rest of the page resizes nicely for a mobile device. 
So using Generator, we were able to customize a new design via a drag and drop interface. We were then able to export that out as HTML and CSS. From there, we were able to use the startup framework source code to further customize our project as well. So just like always, I'm David East. If you have any questions or want something explained in more detail, you can leave me a comment or you can hit me up on Twitter.